I'm currently on the phone with Hugh Hall. Uh, my wife and I have dealt with him in the past several times. I rented a trailer on September the 28th. And uh, the total charges, as you can see on here, are 57.13. We returned the trailer on September the 30th within the time frame that we were told to do so. Uh, we were charged 27.13 uh, on October the 2nd. Rented the trailer on the 28th, returned it on the 30th. October the 2nd, 27.13 come out, leaving a $30 balance. Uh, my wife and I discovered today that we have $60 charge pending on our account, which is more than the original uh, rental amount. I've been on the call, on the phone uh, several times with U-Haul representatives, uh, about six times. I've been hung up on, I've been argued with, and now this one that I'm currently on the phone with has had me on hold for about 10 minutes. Now all I'm getting is the runaround, and uh, so I don't understand why they don't just say, hey, we made an error, we overcharged you $30, <clears throat> and uh, we'll refund that back into your account. I called my bank, and they said since it was a point of sale uh, purchase, and the, the uh, charges were coming out today, that I needed to speak to you all, which I've done but I've received no help whatsoever, no customer service help, and uh, really frustrated at this point. And just wanted to make everyone out there aware of uh, the kind of dealings that you all engages in. In the past, everything has went smoothly, but this go around, uh, they're giving me a difficult time. Hello? Yes. Go ahead. Hello? Go ahead. That was you guys' fault. It wasn't our fault. The money was in our account. There was no reason whatsoever why you guys shouldn't have charged the full amount because uh, it would have given it to you. No. Let me tell her something. She's full of it. $30 came out of our account first, and then they credited that back, which we ne it never really came out. They took that off, and then they charged twenty seven thirteen promptly, and now they're charging sixty. Just like, as you said, the money has been in the account more than enough to cover it. That is yeah, a lie. Yeah, when it first went on there, there was a twenty seven thirteen charge and a $30 credit, which we couldn't understand why you guys did it that way. And now you come back and say you weren't able to get all your money, so you're going to charge us $30. They know it was there. Yeah, so that $30 credit would have come. It would have been the whole one we tried to charge. We did try to put in the full 57 and 13 charge all at once. It only approved us for the 27 and 13. That's not true. For the 27 13. Well, I'm going to call my bank, and I, all of this is being recorded, and uh, I, I've dealt with you all uh, many times, and all of this is being recorded and going to be passed along. So I did want to make you aware that this is being recorded for quality assurance, and uh, we're going to get to the bottom of it because, because you all has not treated us fairly this go-around. 